A lot of people want to know how to learn how to program, specifically web development. And I thought I can share my journey of how I got a job as a web developer in around one year. First, I want to talk about like the number one misconception about programming. And it's that you have to be a genius. Even though I have this picture of me, that's absolutely not the case. The thing is, there's only a few people that have to be those super geniuses. Most programmers are sort of average and it's fine to be average. So how did I actually learn how to program? Well, I think it started at Code Academy. When you're starting to code and you have no experience, what you want then is to have training wheels. You're a baby programmer and you want to be in a playground and just have fun with the code, build things. And Code Academy is perfect for that. They give you all the training wheels that you need to be successful as a programmer in the beginning. What I would suggest is doing the Python or the JavaScript course. Both of them are great, specifically if you want to be a web developer, because you have to have some sense of the back end, which is more Python oriented, versus the front end, which is more JavaScript oriented. Do those two courses, they take around 10 to 15 hours, and after you're done, come back to this video. You've done two courses on Code Academy. Great. Now you're a programmer. Well, not really. So the thing you learn at Code Academy is basically syntax, which is the words required in a programming language, like if statements or while loops or for loops, and that's not programming. Anybody that tells you that programming is about learning specific languages is totally wrong. Some people may, might say that you have to learn C because that's sort of the lowest language and because you're the lowest language, because you're closest to the machine, then you are actually a foot programmer. And that's not right. What programming really is, you wanna know? You wanna know? Programming, programming is really about solving problems. Specifically, using data structures and algorithms to solve these problems. Do you wanna learn how to solve problems with algorithms and data structures? Well, the answer is CS50. CS50 is an introductory course from Harvard University on computer science. And it's totally amazing. Like the budget of this thing is through the roof. They have all kinds of amazing tools that you would only find in Hollywood blockbusters, but they use them only for filming lectures about programming. CS50 is quite challenging. It's a Harvard course, right? But it's not impossible. And you just have to stick to it and work really hard to finish all the assignments because it's really important to finish those assignments um, not just listening to the lectures, but actually doing the programming exercises. I really recommend doing this course together with a friend because that's how I was able to motivate myself in actually doing it. Okay, so you officially finished CS50, a Harvard course. Congratulations. Now, I mean, you're basically a programmer. You could probably get a job as a programmer, even though it would be quite a struggle for you in the beginning. So I would now recommend for you to do your own projects, because that's the best way to motivate yourself. You think of something that you want to solve, something that you want to build, a website or an app or anything that you want, and you build that thing. It's really difficult in the beginning. You have to Google like a maniac, and that's what I still do. I still Google a lot. That's basically what programming is. But you really have to stick to it. You have to, you know, start building your own things. That's really how you get good at programming. Because in one way, programming is one of those old artisan crafts where you just continue working and you start learning the tools of the trade. And that's when you start getting good. If you don't have any ideas of what websites to build, I put a link down in the description that has 40 ideas of beginner websites to build that you can start with right now. Wow, you started this blog with wanting to know how to program. Then you went to Code Academy, you did a 15 hour course on JavaScript and Python. And then you did a Harvard course called CS50 that taught you the fundamentals of computer science and how to solve problems with programming. Using these skills, 
you build your own website totally from scratch. You are a programmer. Now it's time for the final step, getting a job. Mm. So this is actually true. This is what I did. I had done all those steps and I thought, what's next? Well, the best way to learn programming is actually just doing it a ton. So I decided to get a summer job programming, even though I had no work experience with programming whatsoever. What I came up with was to make a portfolio website. And I think you should do that too. The thing with portfolio websites is that they can make you seem much better than you actually are. So what I built was a website with a Tinder UI where you could swipe on different pictures of me. What I did then was putting this website on a few Facebook groups. There are groups in, in my city, which is Stockholm, that are only related to programmers. And there are a lot of people there who are looking for programmers. Because the fact is, in the EU alone, I think there's more than like 1 million programmers that are missing from the working market. So people are basically totally desperate for these programmers. And they'll get any shitty programmer that, that there is out there, as long as you claim that you actually can program. Some people might tell you this is a really bad strategy, that you should only apply to a job when you fully know programming. I don't think so. I think you should just throw yourself out there, start working. As long as you have confidence and you believe in yourself, you can do anything. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's my guide to becoming a programmer.